Okay, so today I thought we could do something with some felt tips. I'm trying to keep these art activities to um, using materials that you uh, could easily have at home, so nothing kind of fancy. Uh, and uh, a lot of people have a few felt tips at home, so. Right, what I've done is uh, create these little small works of abstract art using felt tips. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, what I do to start with is create little boxes. Um, I'm just uh, drawing these out. You don't need to do little boxes. You could easily use circles or triangles or whatever you want. I just quite like doing little boxes. Um, all right, so there we go. They don't need to be highly accurate. Okay, so there's my grid of boxes. Now I'm just going to start doing a very loose, loopy scribble pattern. Pressing quite hard so that I can really see it. In and out of each box, so that each box has got quite a bit of crisscross, but not too much. Okay, done. Right, that's the pencil bit done. Okay. Now, now to be making my uh, small works of abstract art. Once again, I'm going to use my trusty colour wheel like I did on uh, lessons one and two. Now, you'll notice that each of these are a small selection of colours. Say, for example, this one here. It's blues, mostly with a little accent of the opposite colour or the complementary colour, orange. Now, um, artists often use that because if you use complementary colours, they make each other look brighter. But I was keen to not use too much because I think if you use too much of uh, the complementary colour, it starts to look a bit garish. Uh, that one, for example, is yellows and um, with a little accents of some blues. I'm lucky I've got a few selection of different blues, different yellows. You might just have one, it's fine, it will still look good. Um, okay, now the whole thing is using um, oranges, yellows and blues. And I think it really holds together because I've been really limited in the number of colours I've used. Right, so let's just uh, talk you through doing a few of these. So if I went with uh, my blues, say, is my main colour, if I chose this one here. I've got a number of blues there. I might go for this. It doesn't really matter, you just start anywhere, don't worry about it. What I do to get a neat edge is that I go around the edge first of my shape. So I've seen that as a shape in there. Okay, these are great because they've got a thicker side, one side, so you can fill in with a thicker side and... Um, Go around the edge with the thinner side. I like that, it's quite a sort of um, muted blue. And that's going to look good next to some brighter blues. So there's my second shape there. Mine's just small, I'll just fill it in. Right, different blue now, a brighter blue. Right, if I go around the edge of there, oh look at that gorgeous blue. Really lovely. I'll get my thicker side out, fill it in. Okay, now I'm going to go for a dark, dark blue. Say, for example, around here. Around the edge first to get that neat, crisp edge. Neat, crisp edges oh. make these look good. So another dark blue down here. I'm just going to use around the edge first and fill in. This is a really nice, relaxing, relaxing thing to do. I just spent maybe half an hour or so doing that one that I showed you, listening to a bit of radio, a bit of six music. Um, very nice thing, just thinking about nothing much at all apart from what colours look good. Very nice thing to do. I'm going to leave that little tiny shimmer of 
white, which I quite like. Uh, another big area of this middle blue, dull blue, which is quite a nice colour. Right, so almost ready to put in one of my accent oranges or yellows. Um, all right, I'm going to look at my my colours here. I'm going to go maybe for maybe for some yellow as my accent colour on this one. Just fill in there. Oh, this is quite an orangey yellow, so I like that. Oh yes, I really like that. That's gorgeous. Uh, maybe a bit more down there. Keeping very much within my square so I get that little... I've got a few tiny bits left. I might go for a bright orange just to fill in. These tiny spaces. I'm just going to shine out a little tiny bit down there as well. Okay, maybe. Um, do I have a different dark blue? A dark, oh, yes. Dark, dark blue in there. And dark blue in there. Now, the other thing I've done sometimes, if you look at this one, is that I've added some. Uh, dots or stripes with a darker colour over the light colour. Not too much, just to, if you do too much it will kind of kill it, but a little tiny bit I think looks good. So, um, where was that dark, dark blue? I think it might be that one. Maybe just put some little stripes across there. I quite like swooping round, it makes these shapes look like they're almost 3D. Okay, that one's done. So if I made a kind of mostly blue there, mostly blue there, mostly blue there, and then these ones, oranges and yellows, I think that's going to look cool. All right, so I'll start my yellow one. So over here, remember go around the edge first, edge first, edge first. Anyway, you get the idea. I don't need to show you another full one. It's a really nice, easy task to do. Um, enjoy.